this episode kind of starts in the middle of some action because I spent quite a while wandering around listening to the Silver Shroud radio, trying to get that quest started, and I can't. I, it just keeps playing the uh, the same things over and over. So obviously I'm doing something wrong, or for some reason the quest just won't start. Um, but along the way, I found some raiders and decided to go after them. So you'll hear the radio, uh, Silver Shroud radio, continuing to play. Uh, as this begins. Mysteries of my own. The silver weapon of the silver shroud can never harm the silver shroud. <laughs> so, this is the end. <laughs> All I wanted was a better life. A better Commonwealth, free from the petty squabbles <laughs> of humankind. We have the why, but not the who. Soward Shroud, unmask this miscreant and reveal the man beneath the metal. Yes, it is time we knew the truth. Who is the Mechanist? By the rays of Ra, the Mechanist is none other than... Mayor Murphy! Of course. It all makes sense. <laughs> My death in that alley. <laughs> A ruse. He was... <laughs> just one of my robots. But by being... dead... <laughs> You could turn your little hobby into a full-time endeavor. And the real estate papers? A rancorous ruse. A spiteful sham. All to throw us off the trail. <coughs> yes. It was a master plan. And you ruined it all. But what happens now? <coughs> I need a doctor, an ambulance. Stalwart Shroud, could it be? Can the mewling mechanist not foresee his fate? <laughs> My fate? What? <laughs> fate? Death has come for you, Mayor Murphy. And I am its shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Austin, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, A Slaying in Scully Square. Just a Dallas alley. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him now if, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast, fancy pants. I don't get it. You it's just repeating and that snazzy the original. Hand him over now. I most episode. certainly will not. Do you have any idea who... Oh, jeez, Louise. Why'd you go and do that? Because he could have made us, that's why. You want to spend another stretch in the pokey? Now, let's see what's in this fancy case. Nothing. Papers, no cash. It's worthless. Ah, get his wallet. A suit like this has got to have something. Galaxy News 
slaughter was terribly timed. Incurring the wrath of Boston's finest is an unfortunate and unexpected annoyance. Unexpected by us, maybe. But perhaps not by Fat Fay. Ah, I'm starting to to see into his twisted plan. Ah, damn this gunshot wound. Look, heroes, we can clear this up. Come out now, unarmed. I'll see that you two get the best lawyers in the city. <laughs> Excuse my assumption that even the most astute attorney couldn't help us now. All right. Mistress, we must away from your den and evade the police. Clear our names and take Fahey down. That's it! We're coming in! Silver Shroud, Mistress of Mystery, hands up for order of the Boston Police. Chief Gorkonen, I am Death's Shroud, but you are undeserved of my terrible justice. Think of my mercy. Stop or we'll shoot. Men, open fire. Damn it. Where did this mess come from? Wait, it's clearing. Chief, they ain't here. They're gone. I was hoping you'd say that, Officer Leibowitz. I was hoping you'd say that. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Come on, dollface. It's right through here. Came in here expecting that the radio would keep playing. Since it hasn't, I assume I can't get this silver silver yeah, shroud huh? thing to do anything while I'm here. But I see a legendary raider that I'd like to <coughs> Shook up over nothing.
jet will make you jittery. Yeah, guess she was right. Think you can hide? No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Scared, huh? You should be! I see, so he is below me. Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Come on out! Make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. There you are.
as concerning to be constantly detected. See, this is where I came in, but through that doorway. Got it. So now what was detecting me? Something's still detecting me. I think I'll leave that door downstairs for later. Stuck into the pocket. Huh. That cue ball sort of in the pocket, but not in it. Huh. So I guess there isn't actually a Stops immediately.
Okay, so I think that's everything upstairs. And there was a door. Yeah, this door that heads down there that I hadn't opened. Notes on the creation of a drinking buddy. Password is supposed to be somewhere around here. <laughs> this is the drinking buddy. <laughs> he like made a turret into a protectron. Operational subroutines, micro brewers, operational. Internal bottling mechanism, operational. Output dispensary, operational. Detecting brewing subroutines, <laughs> hollow tape detected for women. Fail ale. Start up. Oh, he had it.
Hey, buddy. I found a recipe for you. Greetings, technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Mm. <sighs> cold and refreshing. Do you know how long it's been since I had cold beer? Very good. I appear to be operating at an optimal level. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, sure. Beginning transit operations to Hotel Rexford. Alright, well I'm carrying too much stuff. screen to come out of there it took forever thought maybe the game had crashed Super mutant over there. Drinking buddy's gonna go talk to him. See if I can intercept. The mutant was in this alleyway. I thought he would walk back, but I guess he went inside or something.
Do not make any further escape attempts, lawbreaker. <laughs> Kill them off, but I don't want to lose track of Buddy. I guess I'll start healing up. Surprised the enemies treat him as hostile. Sell some stuff to the robot. Well, I got the Don't chance. worry. Yeah, and I will dump all the stuff I wanted to sell, and then I also got from her all the 556 five, and 308 ammo. Hey, buddy. Please confirm delivery with hotel staff at this time. I will remain here. I found a robot that was supposed to be delivered to someone here. Any idea who it might be? A robot? Sounds like Rufus. Yes. Hey, I found a robot called the Drinking Buddy that was supposed to be delivered here. Are you serious? I've been looking for it for a while now. Didn't realize it was a robot, though. Let me take it off your hands. Hunter caps, plus beer. <laughs> A robot like this is bound to have some good parts, if nothing else. Of course. How about 200 caps and some of the beer? So, do we have a deal? Sure. We've got a deal. Great. Bring it on in and I'll get your caps. Okay. Let's head in. Sure is some <laughs> weather we're having. Greetings, new friends. I am the Franken. What the buddy. heck is this thing? But you can it's just that call me machine I was telling buddy. you about. I am here to provide entertainment oh, and man. my soul awesome. libations. I'm gonna store Fine, my right, vodka. Just in this get thing. it set up over at the bar and out of my doorway. Commencing normal operations. Greetings, buddy. Care to 
wet your whistle? Hey, Rufus. Or do hey, you require help, buddy, a lap? Better than I was hoping for. Here's your money. Accomplished. So, uh, guess I'm gonna cut it here.